Tonight, we are making history. This is the first hybrid meeting of Hamwick speakers. This is one of the first hybrid meetings of our entire district. I find myself as an average person being surrounded by extraordinary people. And that's what Toastmasters has given me. Our next candidate is going to transform themselves. We have not one, not two, but three opportunities to die. Oh, the, the, the most dodgiest thing I ate had to be kangaroo in, uh, in Australia. I wasn't sure because apparently there's a way to cook it and if you cook it wrong, it ruins it. He still gets you in the back. <laughs> I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. Madam Timer, switch the clock off. Take away your, take away your backdrop. I'm going to ignore you. Uh, right, now it's time for some poetry. Our poet master for this evening is uh, Akin. And uh, like me, he joined during lockdown, so he's about to speak for the first time in person at a meeting. All the world's a stage and all the men and women mainly players. They have their exits and their entrances. Good master, are we ready for the, for the vote? Uh, at the moment, we're just having a little bit of play, so our recommendation is to invite Louise up again to have another two minutes, if we may. Uh, Would that be okay? possible? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of applause, people. Lots of applause. <laughs> Once again, two more minutes. Minutes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ken has given us three different options to die. How can you follow that? If you have a question or you want to change something, ask if it's possible. And if it can be changed, it, it will be changed. I was at work one day and I was absolutely starving hungry and the riskiest thing I could find was an NHS sandwich. <laughs> so as a young man, I, I did what most young men do when dared like this. I, I ate C4 plastic explosives. I didn't know if they were alive or, or dead, but the secret was to just pop them in your mouth and swallow them down. And I did, and I'm still here to tell the tale. <laughs> so a crab walks into a bar and he says to the barman, I'll have a pint of Foster's, please. The barman looks at him and says, I'm not serving you. The crab turns back and says, what's the problem? I'm, just give me a drink. Give me, what, what's the problem? The barman looks at him. He says, I saw you last night giving it all that. <laughs> I've been Stuart Shaw. You've been a great audience. Thank you very much. <laughs>